Hello, friends. Today, let's solve minimum difficulty of a job schedule. So we are given a list of jobs, and we want to finish it within D days. We have some constra uh, constraints. The first thing that we must divide these jobs in the order. So that means we cannot, for this example, we cannot conduct the job six and one in a day and uh, conduct uh, 5 to 2 in a day. We must uh, conduct uh, in the order. So that means we must finish its preceding previous jobs in order to conduct the current job. And uh, it says uh, we have to finish at least one task every day. So that means if the D is greater than the length of the job difficulty array, we cannot finish it. We just return negative 1. Okay, so how to solve this problem? Actually, it just asks us to divide or partition this integer array into d parts and uh, the maximum within each partition, the sum will be the minimum. We want to calculate the minimum. So how to do that? Um, typically, for this want to calculate the minimum or maximum. We, want, we will think about dynamic programming. But uh, what is the relation? How, how can we get the uh, relation or the formula to calculate the DP? Let's see. One thing, if we can, con uh, if we can make sure that all the jobs can be finished within D days, then we can also finish these jobs in D minus one days, D minus two days till one day. Why? Because as we can cut it into D partitions, we can also cut these jobs into D minus one partition. For example, if D equal to three, we can divide these jobs into three days. We cut uh, like uh, um, two, two uh, twice and we partition these jobs into three parts. But we can also cut these jobs once and uh, partition these jobs into two parts, so on and so forth. So can we use the previously calculated values in order to get the following values? Of course we can. Let's see how to get the relation between them. Well, let's see. Regarding these days, if we already know the, we, we want to finish some tasks within the di plus one days. So let's say if we want to um, like uh, conduct uh, um, like uh, five tasks during this day, then we must uh, calculate the maximum difficulty within these five tasks. And we plus, the like uh, the rest uh, tasks we conducted in the previous i days right so we must uh, calculate uh, like uh, during previous days the minimum difficulty to finish uh, the k tasks so in that case on the i plus one days, we just need to calculate the maximum difficulty and the use previous calculated uh, results. So let's use some specific uh, notations. So if we finish k tasks in the previous i day i days, and we already got get this value. So in the i plus one day we have to conduct k to the j tasks and we calculate the maximum of all these tasks and we plus this minimum so this one so in that case we can get the dpi plus one j that means we finish j tasks within i plus one days if we can if you can understand this relation then the whole relation or the whole formula we can get it now so 
uh, we can define a DP array, DPIJ, that means the we finish J jobs uh, within the I days, and that's the minimum difficulty. So the relation is that uh, the we finish K minus one jobs in the I minus one days, and the in on the I state we finish K2J jobs. So we just need to calculate the K2J jobs minimum, oh sorry, maximum, and plus previous calculated result. So as you have a feeling that first we it, uh, we need to iterate the days from one to uh, d, right? Or from actually from zero to d, um, and then we need to like uh, do the j, right? Because this is the j. Uh, so the j should be from i to n. N is the number total number of the jobs. So why from i? Because we at least finish one task within a day. So it at least will be i. And then we how how to get this k? Is this k from i to j, from i to j or from j to i? So the diff difference is one, the k is from smaller to larger. Uh, the other alternatives is from larger to smaller. We choose the uh, following one. Or we choose the later one. We let this k from larger to smaller from j to i. Why? Because if this k from j to i, we, we are sure that we can get the maximum difficulty within the task k to j. So we can get that value. And we can use previously calculated value, which is dpi minus 1 k to 1. So that's the reason why we start this k from j to i. Because in that case, we are sure that we can finish this k to j task within the i state, and we get it, this maximum. So you should uh, pay attention to this order. So we get this relation, but we also uh, notice this initialization. The initialization is that we finish all the tasks within the first day. We can always do that. So that means the zero, dp0, zero, j, j from zero to n, n is the total task. The, uh, there will be the maximum difficulty among these j jobs. So this is in initialization. This is the relation. OK, now let's write the code. You will understand it better. So first, we will get n, which is the job difficulty. Actually, we I will change this name to jobs. So that will be jobs dot length. A quick check if d is greater than n, we just return negative 1, because we cannot at least finish one task within a day. Then we will get the dp, which will be the size of d and uh, n. So do the initialization for int i start from 0, i less than n, i plus plus. OK, so we, we need the maximum till now. So we call it max o. So first it will equal to 0. And then we update this max or There will be the max or and the jobs, jobs i. OK, so dp0. I will be the max or right. This part means we finish all the jobs on the first day. Then we will get uh, the other part. So it will start from one because we already calculated zero. It's i less than n. Oh, sorry, it's not n. It's d. I plus plus. And then the j, right? The j will from i j j less than n, j plus plus. And we also need the k. And I say the k will start from j, and the k great or equal than i k minus minus. So let's see uh, here, right here. We, we need two things. The things is that the minimum 
actually it's the minimum because we will update the DPIJ here. That will be the minimum. So what is the initialization value? Initialize the value. That means we actually, uh, this is I, the I state, right? So we finish all the J minus one jobs we, uh, on the previous I minus one days. So on the I state, we only do these jobs J. So that will be one possibility. This is the uh, one possibility. But if we conduct more than one job within this I state, we should get the maximum difficulty within all these tasks we conducted on that day. So the maximum will first be jobs J. And when we move this K, we can get the max, right? Again, the max within the jobs K. So we can update the minimum, right? This minimum will be the mass minimum, minimum. So how to write here? That will be the use the previous I minus one days to conduct I minus one works and get this maximum. Oh, uh, sorry, plus this maximum, not the get. So you should understand this part. This part means that we can learn more than one jobs on this I state. So in the end, just return dp, uh, that would be d minus 1 and uh, n minus 1. OK, I think we have finished. OK, thank you for watching. See you next time.